joining me from her design studio in Houston, Texas, Chastity Surreal. Chastity, thank you so much for joining us. You look stunning. Your designs behind you are flawless. So, okay, you say that you got your artistic side from your dad who passed away. Mm -hmm. um, you were 12 years old when he died. How did you turn that pain into this pursuit of happiness? Well, growing up and knowing that my father had to work two jobs, one thing I do remember is that he always, he had this little sketch pad and he would come home and draw out like ideas and inventions and things like that. And after he passed, I just felt like, man, why not live doing something that you love, something that you're passionate about? So for me, it was now or never. And <sighs> I just, I just went on from there. I feel that. I, I can hear it in your voice. It's now or never. So you jump online and you Google how to make a gown. Now, I understand how to make a skirt, but a gown, <laughs> the reason why they are so expensive is because they are so hard. You, start, you started big. You didn't want to start at the middle or at the bottom. You went big or go home. Yes, I went big or go home. I started YouTubing how to make anything and everything. And I'm a visual learner. So if I see it once or twice, I can kind of mimic it. And then once I got into the groove of everything, I just remixed it and made it my own. And I kept practicing and practicing until I got it right. You mentioned your father working multiple jobs. That was your journey as well. You were working at a daycare and then on the side in the after hours trying to pursue this dream. And you were studying videos, was it Dior, Chanel, the coutures of the world um, as your inspiration? It was all the coutures, especially Alexander McQueen. That was my favorite. One of my I favorites just, too, yeah. Yes, I would sit and just watch like the ateliers and how they constructed things. And I would just be in awe and I would sit and watch it for hours and pick up on little techniques Gosh. that I knew nothing about and started practicing. And you myself. could not afford to pay for fashion school. So this is why learning online became your source to, to pursue this. Now I'm looking, I think this was the first dress you made. You said that it was inspired by Katy Perry, Nicki Minaj, one of my favorite people on the planet. Uh, when you look at the dress, I see Nicki Minaj in the dress. I see the beginnings of it, I should say. <laughs> I see the beginnings of talent. What do you think of it when you see it now? <laughs> you know, Tamron, I still have that dress, and I'm still so proud of it. It is falling apart now. It's it's hanging on by a thread, literally. And it, I feel like that's the dress that birthed everything. Yeah. So... I was so proud of it when I first made it. Oh my gosh. I laugh a little bit every time I see it now, but that's my first baby. So yeah. I, I can't let I can't let her go. Uh, let me you don't let her go. You archive that dress because that will be a very important part of your story. Chastity, so when you're looking at the YouTube videos, which is how you taught yourself, it, were you watching them over and over and trying to duplicate what you were seeing? How did you grasp it? Especially because it's in a video. Um, rather than being in person with someone guiding you? Well, I would watch them over and over again, for sure. And I would take whatever technique they were doing, I would practice it. And so once I got that technique down, I would remix it and make it my own. Like, mm. oh, okay, this is how you can do something called timbre beading, where you hand bead um, beads to, to mesh or to fabric. Mm. And then I would just remix it and make it my own. I mean, is there a lot of trial? I imagine a lot of trial and error involved, and because you're there by yourself, there's no Tim Gunn saying this is right or wrong. You're <laughs> there by yourself. Oh yeah, there's definitely trial and error. There's a dress behind me that took a lot of trial and error, <laughs> and I was literally about to give up on that dress, but I was like, no, I have to finish it. I really want to finish it. So that's how I that's how I learned. And, which and dress it, and it Which dress up. is it? The, the black or the green one? It's the green one. It's hand woven leather Gosh. and the flowers a leather as well. I don't know where I'm pointing. It's, yeah, you're pointing um, at it. It's beautiful. Now you originally started out, the dresses were about three hundred dollars. Now since New York Fashion Week, now twice you've been there. Um, major stylists asking for yes. your designs. They go up to like five thousand dollars. When people yes. ask you about your fashion background, how do you explain it? What do you say? I learned on the internet. How do you explain it? I am actually 
proud that I went to YouTube University um, <laughs> because it, it helped me so much. And I feel like it's a part of my journey. It's a part of my story. And it's what makes me unique. Absolutely. Now, I know that you are preparing for another big moment in your life. You're going to get married. And you. Oh. That's what I was told. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank there's, you. There's the proposal that I love how you act surprised. I'm like, wait a minute. I think you know you're getting married and you've uh, you started sketching out your dress. And I think we have a glimpse of your some of what you're doing with your bridesmaids. You're making everything. Yes. Yes. And this is the sketch of the bridesmaids dress. It looks like a burgundy. I can't see. I need glasses. <laughs> yes, it's a burgundy. I'm, I'm, I want to do a fall wedding. I feel like fall is really mm. enchanting, an enchanting time of the year. And um, I wanted to give more options for my bridesmaids, different silhouettes to fit their wow. personality. So I'm going to sketch out more things, but those are like my top three options. Oh, I cannot wait to see the gown that you make for yourself. And by the way, you know I'm going to be ordering something. So let me, let's just put it out there yes, now. Girl. You, Sharon Hall will be in one of your designs. As soon as this red carpet thing gets worked out and we get on the other side and get back to big events, I will. Might even wear that nice little green leather behind you. Well, congratulations. I'm so happy Thank for you. you. And you learned it all on YouTube University. Thank you, Chastity. Thank you.